Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Discworld with me, Classic Gamer. And this is now the sixth attempt at this video. Um, I was going to do it on the PC version, but the PC version is so crap that I'm not even going to bother. Um, let's quit the door and get out of it. Right, so obviously you know about this bit, you know what's going on, so I'm going to do this quite quickly. Um, we need to get the five items, um, and I did it quite a lot, yeah, I went quite highly, so we're going to go for the same thing, so we're going to go for the imp first, so we need to go to the delivery stables first, and we need to grab this corn. Then we're going to go uh, to the streets. We're going to go in the toy shop, grab the string. I'm not going to go for anything particular in each video, I'm just going to go, you know, get the items, you know, if we get one, we get one. Uh, I'm not going to, I don't know actually know how long I'm going to be recording for, so I'm going to go for about another 10 minutes from net, well no, let's say... Fifteen minutes, really, a video, I think, is perfectly fine. So we need, obviously, string, we've got that, we need the worm. So the worm is actually in the town square. So we want to come along. And we're going to go for actually the two items that are in the area where we get in from. It's actually, you can get two two items that we need in that one set area by being in the same area for whatever. So that's what I'm going to go for. Now I want to go to the palace. So anyway, I was the wife. Oh, not so bad. How's yours? Oh, doing well, doing well. We thought we might invite you two around for dinner tomorrow night. I've made a chocolate cake, strawberry pudding, and duck's foot casserole with leaf mould. Leaf mould? Oh, sorry. Uh, did I say leaf mould? Um, I meant caramel. Anyway, there'll be lashings of everything. You know the wife. She likes to cook. Yeah, but is this a good idea? I thought she was watching her weight. Why should she watch her weight? Well, you know, after last time, when she accidentally ate that camel. Well, she's not overweight. She's just, uh, oh, she's just cuddly. Yeah, cuddly. Very, very cuddly. With humps. So, um, how's your wife, then? Did she get that thing off her face? Thing? What thing? Uh, the hairy thing. That's a beauty spot, that is. Oh. Oh, I see. A uh, bit long for a beauty spot, isn't it, though? I mean, in area. Look, moustaches are supposed to be a sign of sensuality. What, on women? Listen, are you calling my wife ugly? No! Good. I'd have been ever so cross if you did. Okay, so we this Dave all spoken, so let's um Look, could you just let me in please? Clear off Now that's what I call a guarded conversation. Ah! 
Is she really that fat then? What? Well, your friend was saying how fat your wife is, so I thought... Oh, he did, did he? Lies. I never... <laughs> Right, we can now walk in as corny as you like. So there's nothing really to do in here. You really just want to go over to the door, open it, go in, and come over to here. Grab the mirror. I'm gonna go and grab a few more things, sort of out and that's round about sort of like everywhere just to well actually no I'm not um, this last few bits should take the sort of like the last 10 minutes I'm gonna sort of try and do maybe a couple of, like I, well, I, I, ideally I, what I wanted to do an item a video but that's not gonna happen in the second act yes I'm gonna go for you know getting each item one at a time not rushing at it uh, one of the items is really easy to get, really quite straightforward, not really taking anything really. So now we want to go uh, to the alleyway. And you want to avoid the... After watching the cutscene. And uh, you want to avoid that slab there. Wait for the luggage to follow you. Oh crap, I didn't get the worm. <sighs> Back to the square. So, this, you probably know, those of you who have seen this game and watched this game, that you, you know what the, you need the, the worm and the string for. Um, the imp is probably one of the hardest things to get, because you wouldn't really know to do this. I certainly, when I first played it, I was like, how the hell do I get this guy? And I was stuck for quite a while, and I wandered around, not really knowing what the bloody hell I was doing. Leave the camera alone. Looks like a little home for a very little creature. <laughs> Leave the imp alone. Right, now you drop the... I've absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Now we want to go out, and the imp, being a little bastard that he is, has gone down to this little hole. That doesn't work. You're not mistaken. Hmm, home to a common house mouse, if I'm not mistaken. You're not mistaken. And 
we've got the imp. Pesky little blighters, these imps. Now we want to put the mirror on Rincewind. And you want to walk on here. And you want to go up to the tower. And there we go. <laughs> Don't forget to take the, cat, the, the mirror with you. It's very important that you do that. A bit slippery, is it? It's fine, I assure you. Maybe you'd better just spit on your hands. That's going to make it even slipperier, isn't it? It might be worth a try. But then I'll slip and die. Is that really so bad, philosophically speaking? It is from where I stand, yes. Death does have its positive aspects, you know. It's easy to do lying down. Also, have you ever considered the saving on food, rent, and clarity? Are you saying that this is my appointed time to die? Well, since you put it like that, <laughs> no. But I thought, there he is. And I'm happening to be passing, you know. It's a kind of outreach policy. If it's all the same, I'd rather wait. Oh, if you insist. I'll see you later. How much later? Don't start reading any long books. Everyone meet death. Wizards have the honor, albeit a dubious one, of being claimed personally by death. Not only that, but wizards can actually see and talk with death. Despite rumors to the contrary, he is not a cheery dinner companion. No, he certainly is not. Now you need no, you need to get that doesn't work. Take the mirror, place it on the tip. Oh, it's got a knob <laughs> on the end. That. Magnificent! Now get out there and slay them! And now we've got that, we can now go back down. Morning, Jimmy. Fine day for it. For what? Oh, for whatever innocent folk like we can find to do up here on the rooftops. Have you ever fallen down? Oh, yes, sir. Ah, oh, tons of times. Well, if you don't want a repeat performance, try shutting up. Ah, the day is coming when people like you will have to look up to folk like me. Probably easiest from the ground, then. What? Looking up at you, I mean. Probably easiest when done from the ground. Actually, I think I might just get in a little looking up at you right now, in fact. I'll just go down to street level in a quite orderly fashion, then, shall I? Yeah, quite an annoying little chap there. But notice his broom. That'll that come to a power a bit later. Assassin training track. Well, I suppose they have to be taught somewhere. Yeah, certainly. Especially when you nick the ladder. Ha ha ha! Right. Thank you. 
哈哈。Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Hmm. From the Assassins Guild, I presume. Right. Before we actually end this video, we've got two of the five items that we need. So we're just going to go and um. No, I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to call that a video. So I'm going to thank you all for watching. I'm going to drop a save state down. Because I will not be happy. I have to do this bit all over again. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, drop me a like, and leave me a comment. And um, I'll see you all in the continuation of Discworld. Bye for now.